Today we're gonna draw a toucan, okay? This side is where the beak's gonna be. So if you wanna go ahead and put your hand here, that'll give us some um, space for the beak because we need to put our eye over here because the toucan's beak is very long. We're gonna put the eye over here and our beak is over here. A toucan's beak is very long, okay? Here we go. The eye is gonna be towards the top, not at the top, towards the top, and it's a circle. Now we should be able to fit our pointer finger right over that circle, because this is the pupil, okay? Around that circle, we need another circle. Okay, next to that circle, we're gonna put a curved line. Miss Cunningham just made a parallel line right next to that second circle. And then I'm gonna kind of curve another one down. This is gonna be the bottom of his beak and this is gonna be the top of his beak. Let's go ahead and draw that beak now. The beak on the toucan goes way out and down. And the bottom of it just comes over and meets the top line like that. This little pointed area right here where we met the big curved line with the small curved line, that's going to be where the beak opens and closes. So we need to draw a line that goes from that little point to the tip of the beak. That way the beak can open and close. All right, let's draw the top of the toucan's head. We're gonna start right here. And we gotta scoop up with a curved line, like a rainbow. Curve it around. Let's pretend like his little brain's right inside there, okay? He needs a nice curved area for his brain. And then all we're gonna do is just curve it right down. This is his body. If you wanted to make your toucan a little bit fatter, you could just scoop him right out like that and forget this line altogether. It's up to you. Okay, from here, we have to make a backwards C for his neck, a backwards C. The breast of the toucan is going to come far out. Okay, so the breast comes out and then it comes down. All right, we're going to do the wing. If you went down with your toucan, you're going to put your wing in the middle. If you came out with your toucan, you're still going to put your wing in the middle, but it's gonna be a little bit further over. Do you see what I'm saying? If you went down straight like this with your toucan, your wing's gonna go in the middle here. But if you went out with your toucan off the page, then your wing's gonna be over here. I'm gonna pretend like this is my toucan line. So my wing is gonna be a curved line here. There's a point. This is where the top of the wing connects with the bird. And my wing goes down right there. We're gonna put some wavy lines for his wings. Let's do maybe three or four wavy lines. That's gonna signify his feathers. And then we just come straight down with all the rest of the lines. In a little while, we're gonna put oil pastel on this to color it in. Okay, we've got one more thing to do. The top of the toucan's head is black and his body is black, but he has this white breast right here. So let's go ahead and draw that. So, do you see where this line, the top of the beak line was? Watch me, I'm gonna circle it around and I'm going back to this part, this line where we went in. So 
I'm going to circle it around and go right back to that spot. Okay, so now there should be one, two, three circles. Now the white part is going to start on the edge of that third circle. It's going to swoop out, come around almost to the wing, and scoop up. Okay, that's going to be the white part. And that is it, boys and girls. We are ready for our oil pastels.